Retired firefighter Chuck Stanger has dealt with knee pain for over a decade. Every time I would kneel down or go to climb a ladder on the fire department and doing squats when I was working out, I could feel it, but I, I worked with it. When he learned he had progressing osteoarthritis, he thought he was headed toward a total knee replacement, but a new <laughs> clinical trial may allow him to avoid major surgery with a simple device. And this shock absorber, it really looks like a car shock absorber, is going to be placed right on the inside part of the knee to take some of the load off that inner portion of the knee and shift it towards the outside part of the knee. Dr. David Flanagan implanted the device in Chuck's knee at the Ohio State University Wexner Medical Center, the first surgery of its kind in the U.S. If it works for me, maybe it'll work for a lot of other people. The Calypso knee system is attached outside of the knee joint and works as a shock absorber, reducing pressure and creating a cushion similar to what cartilage provides in a healthy joint. The clinical trial will examine how the device may relieve pain and slow the progression of osteoarthritis. Take some of that load off that inner portion of the knee and allow that patient now to have increasing function, less pain, and really to delay a total knee arthroplasty for hopefully years. As for Chuck, he's hoping he can get back to his active lifestyle free of knee pain. I want to be able to start doing some of the things I used to do. At the Ohio State Wexner Medical Center, this is Barb Consiglio reporting.